Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. Today, we have a box <clears throat> from CBCS. So let's take her open and see what we got inside. All right, so we've cracked open the box because CBCS boxes are kind of a pain to get to. Uh, and I've kind of cut the bubble wrap so we can get to it. These are all going to be uh, sketch covers that I had done, I commissioned, that have been sent in for verified signature. Some of them by some not huge artists. So I'm curious to see if everything got verified or not because I sometimes wonder when I do this with um, a smaller artist, whether or not they've got their stuff uh, on file with CBCS and there's a way for them to verify it. Cause I don't know what happens if I don't, um, I, go ahead, I did mark the box that says, go ahead and encapsulate, even if they couldn't verify the signature. So my assumption would be, is that it would get either a blue or maybe their red art, maybe they just get the red, the old red labels. I don't know. But um, looking at the top book here, that's not a problem. Remove this plastic here because this just sucks. All right. So now none of these are going to have a grade. These are all blank sketch covers that were being drawn on by the artist. I don't care about the grade on this. In this case, it's about it being unique, custom, one of kind art. So I find rather than pay for grading, I'm just going to pay for the signature verification, have it encapsulated. And I don't think the grade matters because if I take this book, for example, this Suicide Squad, Ken Hazer cover, if I'm going to sell this, it doesn't matter whether it's a 9.8 or not. You're paying for the piece of art. Now, if I put this, if I, this came back a 9.2, somebody would think about it from a standpoint of being a nine two instead of being a piece of art. And so from that aspect, I'm not interested in playing that game or worrying about having it because some of these have, um, you know, I don't know, I'd have to pay for having cleaned and have them pressed on some of them. Uh, and I'm not, I don't care about that piece of art. Bam. Verified signature. Ken Hazer sketch cover sketch on cover. Beautiful peacemaker. All right. Oh, this one is so beautiful. Uh, so this was a book I had. I ran into this artist at a local con. Uh, he does art restoration, has done some other stuff. Uh, got talking to him and we started talking about our mutual enjoyment of space and Adam Strange. And so I ended up sending him a book and he because i didn't have one with me right then there and he did this uh he, adam strange on the cover and what was great about this was when he called me and he goes hey uh or he reached out to me and said hey uh this cover this image i had in my head it's not gonna fit on the cover is it all right if i do a wraparound <laughs> yes so look at that full-blown wraparound Awesome, awesome sketch cover. This is uh, James Pasco. This uh, next one, uh, this was done uh, at San Francisco Fan Expo. Uh, uh, independent comic book artist uh, named Justin Greenwood uh, had him. I told him, I said, hey, just asked him to do any of Spider-Man. I said, you know, any rogue except for Green Goblin because I had enough Green Goblins. So he did me this beautiful Doc Ock. As a bonus, I got him fighting Spider-Man. I didn't give him any influence other than Hey, can you get me a bad guy? That's it. So that's awesome. Huh. Death of Spider-Woman, Jessica Drew. 
Alright, next up, uh, oh yeah, this is um, an artist, a uh, Canadian artist, a uh, young woman who's uh, doing some work with Spawn, and she's been working on her own comic. Um, I got her, I think I got, first learned of her through IRF Authentics, I think. Uh, and this is Mary Landro. She had on her website. She was doing commissions. I saw she had a Scarlet Spider uh, blank available, and I said, "Hey, can you do me Chasm? Because I'm betting on Chasm has potential." So there we go. We got a pro could be one of the first Chasm sketch covers out there. Mary Landro. Ah, love this cover. This is a buddy of mine. I actually went to high school with this gentleman. Uh, share the same last name as him. So people always in high school thought we were related. Uh, it just happened to be coincidence. Um, but he's a comic. He's done some comic book art for DC. He's done some animation stuff for Pixar. And he's... Uh, also working on his own he has his own series of scholastic uh comics for youth um and his name is scott morse and he did me this planet comics is in this ink wash bubble helmets ray guns robots all kinds of stuff on a foreign landscape absolutely love it bam thank you scott appreciate you sir you never guess who was the guy at school in our senior year who got to do all the art for the class. This guy. <laughs> um, another one I ran into at San Francisco Fan Expo last year, uh, Bobby Breed. Uh, I was talking to him again, just shooting up a uh, conversation, looking at his price on his commission. I got kind of interested, looked up at... Um, his wall and i see some mars attacks stuff and i'm like oh man mars attacks is awesome and we found our mutual love for mars attacks and i said hey you know i'd love to get a book done with mars attacks uh you think you'd do it he said absolutely love to gave him a blank and here we go bang mars attacks baby <laughs> Super awesome. All right. It looks like we got two left, and I see nothing but yellow slabs. So I guess my concern is uh, not warranted. So this one, uh, this one, I wasn't as concerned with because this is a big name artist. Um, I've been wanting to get a commission from this artist for a while. His commissions are always booked up, and happened to be, I'm on his email list, and happened to get notification. That commissions were open. Uh, he was taking he was taking advanced commissions for New York Comic Con, uh, and so I jumped on it, uh, got on his list as Ji Hung Lee. Had him do me. He had a nice Gwen Stacy. So that's cool. All right, last and not least, my most recent commission. Um, buddy, uh, onliner, in, Coco Love Chevy was push has got some kind of partnership with this gentleman, um, Brian Silverback, and we start shared out his information and his commission stuff and what his rates were. And I thought, man, that's quite cool. His rates were pretty good. Um, I decided to jump on it, uh, and so asked him again. Hey, got a Spider-Man slab. Can you do a villain for me? How about a lizard? You know, I don't have any lizards. And he said, hell yeah. And he got me a pretty badass lizard. You can see him there holding Craven's vest. Just phenomenal. Look at the detail on that. Awesome. So thank you to that, uh, Brian Silverback. So there you guys go, man. I mean, 
which one's your favorite? I don't know. It's tough. Uh, hit that like button, please, if you don't mind. Maybe even become a subscriber. It all helps because uh, this channel, all my proceeds go to Comics Carrying Cancer, uh, partnership with the American Cancer Society. So uh, your liking this video helps us to get more eyeballs on it, more uh, ad revenue, and that goes to help fight cancer. Um, guys, let me know down below. Like I said, like what did you like? What did you think? What was your favorite of the lot? Uh, and until next time, collect what you want. Don't listen to anybody, including me. I'm just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.